Hi, welcome to IT Boy Solutions. Today we will talk about Zabbix user parameter. So you can see on the notepad, write script and get alerts. Simple. Yes, it is as simple as it's written. What we can do by using Zabbix user parameter, we can just write a script. A script can be in uh, Python, in Bash, both of them, uh, whichever uh, you like. And uh, what you need to do, you need to get a zero or one at the end of the script. So let's see, create a bash or Python script, set final output as zero or one with if statement, you can use that, right? And uh, write details in etc zabbix zabbix agent.conf. So this is the main process of setting up user parameter. Uh, hope uh, i'm clear you need to just create a bash script or a python script and uh, set its final output to zero or one okay and then the last step you need to write something in agent file so what's that here we go inside uh, agent file you can find or search for user parameter and uh, you have to provide a key name there and you have to remember it as you will use this on the console after that uh, you need to execute that script with full path so basically you don't need to execute you just need to write a command there the whole these first four steps are in agent configuration file and then there is another uh, parameter which you need to set and that is timeout so this is the amount of time your script will take to execute for example your script is taking five seconds so you have to set uh, approximately 10 seconds of timeout in the agent file and after that yes you have to restart zabbix agent only and after that uh, on the console you have to create item and uh, you need to provide the key name the key name uh, which you provided in the this file agent file and after that you can check the latest data values under monitoring tab and you can create trigger okay so this is uh, today's go through and let's go back to zabbix dashboard and uh, here you can see that there is uh, two servers one is uh, zabbix server and another one is jenkins two main servers so let's go to zabbix jenkin and uh, you can see that it's ip address and uh, i have added this to the host let's go to its terminal okay here we are so what i have did let's go to scripts folder and there is a script which is disk.sh what this script will return sh disk dot sh so this is returning you a zero which means uh, disk is okay so let's check the current disk uh, you can see that this is 21 percent and uh, what will be the threshold when will trigger generate we will explain everything so first of all let's check what's written in the script okay so this is just one line script uh, used disk this is a variable okay and uh, i have something in this variable let's copy this sorry and paste it and let's check what it will return so it will return you 21 now what is 21 21 is the used disk this one you can see that 21 percent so by using cut and reverse and all the things i can get this 21 or you can do it from easier way by using set and all commands so this on this is on yourself what you use so the whole process is now we are going to set a disk alert this is a demo but you can uh, write any bash script or python script and uh, use it as a trigger on your dashboard for example you can uh, grab some logs from the log file and uh, at the end of the read just add a if statement uh, to get one or zero 
so what I did here used disk now I'm getting it 21 so if used disk is greater than 70 then echo 1 so at the end we are waiting for 1 or 0 so if you get 1 then Zabbix will set alert to yes it's active and if we get 0 then Zabbix will consider it as a ok state ok so let's do it once again sh disk dot sh 0 ok so now uh, what we have done till now we have completed this one we have ok this one we have created a bash script set final output to 0 or 1 uh, with if statement ok done and write details in etc zabbix agent.com so let's go to this file and search for user parameter ok press next 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 here we go so this is user parameter you will get it by default and what i have added is after the this equal sign so i have added this disk check this is custom name means you can modify it you can write it as per your script what your script is doing you can write here and give a comma and type this bin bash means you are executing a script which script the full path of the script so my full path of my script is slash scripts and disk dot sh okay after that you need to search for timeout here it is so my script is not taking more than one second or or maybe less than one second so i have given timeout to five and now you can save this and now you need to restart Zabbix. So uh, I'm not doing it because I didn't change it. Uh, let's do it, no problem. So after changing in the file, you need to restart. Let's go back here. Okay. So now you have to go to console, create an item, provide the same key name, and so on. Let's go back here. Configuration host jenkin item create item and provide uh, for example alert regard why to make to big name user parameter disk okay and now you have to provide the same exact name so find here cat etc zabbix zabbix.conf and grab disk so just copy this okay and paste it here that's all and uh, do it for seven days and do this for 30 days that's okay add so now we have added a uh, item our item is successfully added what we need to do now is to check uh, the latest data is our item created successfully or not to verify it you need to wait for one minute and uh, till that i want to show you something here it will be on the next page or we can do it like this user parameter <coughs> so you might be thinking that uh, we have written a uh, script here in this folder pwd yes so how script will execute it so script will execute it as a as a cron not in cron tab as a cron and you can provide the time here if you provide time here like uh, five minutes so at every five minute 
this script will execute itself this one okay so uh, for uh, the demo purpose we can set it to one minute and uh, uh, no need to save because we didn't change anything let's go back to monitoring latest data uh, for uh, easy way just uh, filter for this exact server you are looking for filter for you can also filter for an uh, item name as well if you remember it else you can see the whole the way this is user parameter disk and you can check it's giving currently zero Be why because if you run this you will get zero so you can check graph as well it's uh, started just now the green color line a very small it's zero let's go back and do something on the server so that uh, your disk will increase your threshold so your threshold is 70 either way for demo what you can do you can just uh, edit this threshold set it to 15 you will uh, get an alert or another way of doing is uh, uh, a command which uh, for by using which you can just fill some disk space so this disk space I want to fill is for example 4.5 GB and uh, in file ABC so let's check yes there is a file ABC du hyphen sh star ABC and its file is size is 4.5 GB let's check for this okay our current usage is 7.79 percent so it's uh, greater than 70 right so our alert should be executed and uh, it will uh, now the script should return one correct it's giving one okay so under here you can see that it's we are getting one so earlier we were getting zero now we are getting one so whenever this item gives us one we need to set a trigger so let's go back and uh, step three create a trigger so we are going to create a trigger come on let's do it trigger create trigger user parameter disk alert okay Hi, and here you need to give the item you can search it using user parameter okay and insert so now this is trigger set it to one and we also need recovery expression copy the whole thing paste it here and zero if you get one that means alert if get zero that means okay so let's save it we have saved this so it will take one or two minutes to show the alert at uh, this window <coughs> meanwhile uh, we can go here and uh, I will tell you the complete process once again what we did First of all, we created a bash script, set final output as 0 or 1, yes, as you can see here, uh, sh disk, it's giving 1 now, 1 means alert, and uh, write details in etc zabbix agent.conf, yes, in uh, etc zabbix .conf, uh, we write this disk check, this is key name, which is custom, you can change it, and uh, just executed a script this one and uh, we set some time out for how much time your script will take to run and get output and that is five seconds by default it is three seconds so if you think that your uh, script will take less than three seconds then you don't need to change timeout okay so it might be happened till now yes we have alert user parameter disk alert so 
guys hope uh, this was very useful for you and uh, please uh, uh, keep this in mind this is not to set up a disk alert this was just a demo you can write any script you can write db script for example you can set a db script for uh, mysql queries where, which will get a data like if the fraud users in the database are more than 10 more than 15 whatever so and at the end you can get it like uh, put the if else there and get it one and zero so you can monitor uh, the many many things uh, with the user parameter option hope uh, this was this will be helpful for you and uh, if you have any query regarding uh, zabbix monitoring you can please ask me in comment section you can write a mail to me uh, on this itboys in at gmail.com thank you and uh, let's me let me show you one more thing let's go back here and uh, remove this abc file and check again it's disk is now 21 percent okay and uh, run the disk this is giving us zero so it will be clear soon okay and you can check it here as well first of all it will be corrected here uh, from here this uh, latest data record uh, trigger will pick the things so currently it's uh, on high uh, I, uh, I told you that it, it will take one or two minutes right so within few okay sure you can see that now alert is gone so this was the whole process and uh, let's go reload it see it's giving zero so this was the whole process currently it was zero then we increased and then we deleted the file and it's now okay thanks friend uh, see you soon thank you